Hey guys, welcome back to another Xcode 4.2 tutorial. And we're going to be going over actually how to clear out the text fields and labels that we had in the last tutorial with the NS number formatter. So I thought it would be a crucial time to show you guys. Um, basically, let me show you on screen here. So we've got values, we calculate that, and then they stick in there. Well, what happens if we just want to clear them out and add new values? This is where this clear button comes into play. So you can clear the values, start over, and your project's good to go. So what we're going to do is go go into the existing project that we had, and uh, if you haven't seen that one, go check out, uh, I think it's tutorial 49. But what we're going to do is take this button, and we're going to move it down a little bit. Then we're going to go grab another button, throw it, well actually we'll put calculate above. Then we'll put clear below, adjust this label a little bit down, a little bit further. Double click, add clear to the button there and we've already got the dual editor set up so if you don't have that already instated there go up here to the assistant editor and uh, open that up now we're in right now it looks like the .m the implementation we're gonna go to the header file the .h of our class that's associated with the view there and we're gonna take that button we're gonna hold control click and drag it over and we're gonna hook it up as an action we're gonna give it a name simple and something simple like clear and once you've done that we are now ready to go to the implementation which I'm gonna drop into the standalone editor and just go to the implementation here okay so now if you scroll all the way to the bottom since we hooked it up and we've got our action established we've just got a few lines of code that we're gonna clear out so when the buttons pressed we want these following um, actions to happen here and so basically we're going to put uh, input 1, which that's going to be our first text box that we, we, input, we inputted 8 or whatever value in there. And so we're going to say input 1 text, we're going to set it equal to, and this is where we're going to leave the string empty. So if we want to set it to a default value, we could put in, you know, default or a certain value. So whenever they click the button, default would appear in the actual text field in this case we want to leave it blank so we don't want anything in between the quotes there so we're gonna do the same thing for input 2 which is our second text field and leave that empty and the last thing that we've got to establish is our label we want our label to be cleared out when the clear button is done as well so we're gonna set the label dot text equal to the empty string there so once you've got that Go ahead and run your application, make sure you're in the iPhone or iPad, whichever one you chose to run it in. And, uh, well, let me close that. And so once that loads up, just go ahead and give it a test. Make sure everything works. So first we'll calculate it. We see there's 256, and then clear it out, and there you go. So now all your values that you've inputted have now been cleared out with this clear action button. So that's just another quick uh, tutorial just to help you guys out with uh, some of the buttons and actions.